Howard University back in the news this afternoon and not for any good reasons. After that big scandal and the following protests back in March, the feds are stepping in saying there needs to be more oversight over financial aid. They're now changing the status of the university, their financial aid status to what's called heightened cash monitoring. That means that they need to provide full documentation of each student on financial aid before the government gives out any of the funds. This really matters. Some 46% of Howard University students qualify for federal Pell Grants. So how did we get here? To answer that, we need to rewind the clock back to March. That's when this online report was released. A whistleblower was coming forward and saying that employees were essentially stealing money. That, of course, led to those protests I was mentioning. And students started a sit-in at the administration building. Employees were accused of collecting their tuition benefits that they got by working at the university, and then, on top of that, getting financial aid. In effect, they were double dipping. All in all, six employees were fired for gross misconduct and neglect of duties. Then there was that viral photo. You may remember this one. It's of a student employee named Tyrone Hankerson Jr. Wearing expensive clothes, he really did become a punchline of social media. Later, Hankerson would come forward and say he did nothing wrong. Meanwhile, back at Howard, you may remember that these protests continued for nine days before it finally came to an end. This is not an end, but a beginning, a beginning to our call of what is student power. As for the school president, he did not resign, despite student demands that he do so. But the question is, what does this actually mean for students? A lot of students are asking the question, is this going to impact my financial aid? Will I be delayed in getting it? The university says they're going to work hard to make sure that doesn't happen. At Howard University, Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.